Hello, Reading community. We wanted to take this chance to share some updates of things happening across our RPS community and also to shout out and celebrate some of the great work happening in our district. So to start, Halloween may have passed, but here in the RMHS Performing Arts Center, coming soon is Zombie Prom, put on by our RMHS Drama Club. So Zombie Prom is a fast-paced, lively musical that features some of the typical challenges that a high school student may face, from homework to uh, practice to dating, and of course, zombies. Did somebody say zombies? Whoa, it's some of the cast from Zombie Prom. We heard you talking about Zombie Prom. Did you mention it's fun for the whole family? And that's the first live show since March 2020. Well, I was just about to get to that. We are so excited to share this show with the live audience. We just couldn't help but come help you tell everyone all about it. Yeah, but you don't really look ready for the show. What do you mean I don't look ready? I'm so ready. I even already have my tickets. Well, you can't really be ready without getting in the spirit. Yeah. Makeup, wardrobe. Now that's more like it. Well, thank you everyone. Now I am definitely ready. Somewhere between Night of the Living Dead and Greece is Zombie Prom, a fun romp for the entire family. You can see Zombie Prom live at the RMHS Performing Arts Center. November 12th, 13th, 19th, and 20th at 7.30 p.m. November 14th and 21st at 2 p.m. For more information and to purchase tickets, visit www.rmhsdrama.org. Don't miss Zombie Prom! We also know that this is the favorite time of year for our student athletes as we dive into tournament time, uh, competition time. So we'd like to wish the best of luck to all of our, uh, all of our rocket athletes as they gear up for uh, competitions on the state level and the big stage. So to recognize some of the teams that will be competing uh, as we move into tournament time, first our cheerleaders at the Middlesex League meet volleyball for a first round matchup against Duxbury, field hockey for a matchup against North Attleboro, Girls soccer for a matchup with Barnstable. Football for a matchup against Bishop Fian. Boys soccer, matchup against Bedford. And then a girls state swim meet and also the cross country state meet all upcoming over the next uh, couple of weeks. So again, a, a huge best of luck to all of our Rocket athletes as they represent our RPS community. I'd like to shift into talking about just some of the shout outs of a few of the great things uh, that are happening across our district. First thing is uh, on, um, on November 2nd, we had our district's professional development day, and our theme this year, or this professional development session was all means all. And it was around all of us as educators developing our skill and ability to more effectively meet the needs of all of our different learners in our school. Um, so we spent the day listening to the stories and experiences of uh, both parents and alum uh, through a panel. Uh, we spent time in workshops that were led by community members, educators, administrators um, from our district uh, in supporting one another and in, in sharing best practices that are happening across our schools and learning collaboratively from one another. We also spent time collaboratively planning right, uh, with colleagues around what can we do to more effectively meet the needs of all of our students. A huge shout out to all of those who uh, helped lead these sessions for sharing their time, their expertise, their perspectives with our community. It was a great day of collaboration and learning. So thank you to the entire staff and those who helped lead this work. Also like to recognize some of the great work happening in both the Parker and Joshua Eaton School communities. Uh, our team, so myself, Dr. Hardy, Dr. Styes, had the chance to spend full days at both Parker and Joshua Eaton and were really encouraged by a lot of the things that we saw. First, at Parker, um, we were just in, we were really excited about the positive school culture that was evident from the minute we walked in the building. Uh, and in terms of instructional practices, we were excited about the use of technology and how teachers and educators were uh, incorporating technology to support student learning, uh, and also how teachers were pushing students in sort of productive struggle. So uh, how students were given support to push through tasks and also challenged to push through and persevere through difficult tasks. And we know that productive struggle is so important for our students as they grow and develop throughout their time in education uh, or here in RPS and beyond. And also at Joshua Eaton, uh, we sensed a great love and pride for the school from both students, staff, and families. Uh, instructionally, we saw classrooms that were 
uh, doing two things at the same time, meeting the social and emotional needs of students and holding students to a really high academic bar. Um, in particular, we're really encouraged by the level of math talk of our elementary students. Uh, we observe students explain their thinking, uh, defending their thinking, and engaging in uh, healthy debate and discussion around math concepts. So uh, encouraged by the things that we saw at both Parker and Joshua Eaton. So kudos to the staff and students for some of the great work happening there. Also like to congratulate our RMHS band. I've been able to celebrate and recognize some of the work of the band throughout the year, uh, but would also like to hear, share out uh, that the band just concluded an undefeated season uh, and also won recently, as many of you were at, the Nesba Championship here at RMHS this past weekend. So a special thank you to Mr. Mulligan uh, for his leadership this season and to all of the students in our band for their time, their energy, their dedication that they poured into making this season such a success. And I know that the band was such a point of pride uh, for so many of us in the Reading community this season. So congratulations and thank you for all of your work this season. I'd like to close just by showing a video of one of our favorite uh, traditions, uh, a rocket tradition. So Mr. McIntyre, an RMHS teacher, physics teacher, uh, this is a video of his uh, AP physics uh, and honors physics class launching rockets. Uh, so students are learning about projectile motion and are uh, in the process of, uh, before launching these rockets, um, estimating and sort of making calculations and predicting around sort of where their uh, rockets will land and how far their rockets will go. So enjoy some of the sights of the rockets launching uh, here at RMHS. Seven, eight, nine. We hope that you all had a great week. We hope you enjoy the weekend. We look forward to seeing everyone next week. Go Rockets!